Hey everyone, welcome to group break number 274. Today we have a nice little mix. We have some uh, series one, series two, extended, SPX, SP Game Use Stature, Ultimate Premier, and Skybox Metal Universe. So a bit of a 2020-2021 mixer here. Looking forward to it. Again, lots of different varieties of hits that we can get. Some absolute like high-end stuff and then some really nice looking cards. I mean, Stature just came out. It looks beautiful. So uh, gonna be a fun break. Let's get into it. Three times on the names, three times on the teams. Who you line up with is who you get. So here we go. Again, there's still spots left in tomorrow's break, uh, which is three boxes of Series 2 extended retail on both of those, and then um, Stature, three boxes of that as well. So uh, if you're interested, the link will be below if you're watching on YouTube. It's uh, on the site again if you're on Twitch. So here we go. Once, twice, and third time. Bill on top, Jeremiah on bottom, and teams three times. Here we go. Once, twice, third time, Rangers on top, Devils on the bottom. Here we go. Bill, you have the Rangers. Jeremiah, you have the Ducks. Kevin with the Stars. Uh, stars are probably actually one of the better teams again to have. Uh, Marshall with Vegas. Brandon, you got the Oilers. Scott, you've got the Hurricanes. Jason with the Sharks. Kim, you've got the Kings and Jets. Frank with the Senators. Brent, you've got the Panthers. Christopher, you've got the Wild. Probably the biggest go big or go home team in this. Uh, Debbie with the Canucks. Aaron with the Red Wings. Noah with the Avs. Craig with the Flyers. Brian with the Lightning, Emil with the Habs, uh, Randy with the Leafs, Lance with the Bruins, Robert with Chicago, Brandon with the Flames, Kevin Meyer with the uh, Coyotes, Kevin Aranjo with the Blues, Adam, you've got the Capitals and Islanders, David with the Predators, Graham, you've got the Sabres, Pierre with the uh, Pierre Benoit with the Columbus Blue Jackets, Daniel with the Penguins, Jeremiah with the Devils. Where are your teams? Actually, speaking of boomer bust, the Kings are one of those teams in this that is sneakily good um because stature king stuff is from the looks of things i think it was like mainly gretzky so or like gretzky stuff was mainly um king stuff so that's uh if you're gonna have a team to hit with and hit big they're they're definitely one of those go big or go home teams so Montreal looks like a solid team as well, so. <laughs> uh, there we go. Yeah, you got Battle of Alberta. Hey, I mean, Edmonton's not the worst. You've got Stuart Skinner, and, I mean, you've got McDavid. Calgary is Calgary. <laughs> Actually, Calgary's not horrible and extended if we're being straight up here but yeah that's kind of funny um i guess that's on tonight that'll be an interesting game to watch uh i mean just you just hope for anything edmonton right like skinner should be a solid bet but um yeah like i really like skinner as a goalie so here we go where'd i put the uh Here we go. So box one. I don't see anything on the trade front, so we'll just uh, get started. My cat, by the way, is in full demon mode, so if you can hear something scratching at doors or running around or running into a door because she has done that today already, um, like she's full on sprinted into the door, uh, that is what it is. Yeah, we'll go something like that. If, I mean, we'll do Skybox somewhere in there. I guess Skybox technically has some of the biggest upside, but 
Um, I'm. I mean, the or the PMGs, the retro of Sink of McDavid's been pulled to one of one. I think the retro or the retro OB's been pulled, uh, the one of one. So like, a couple of the bigger ones are gone, but you never know. Like, just any any good rookie PMG is an insane hit. Any PMG is a pretty solid hit. a good game tonight i mean that that colorado game last night um whew, that is one of the ones that like hopefully it doesn't come back to haunt them but they should have won that game that was a pretty weak goal to have happen in ot i mean pretty uh wasted performance by mckinnon so all right here we go Good luck, everyone. Starting off with a base pack. And a jersey of Linus Gog for the Avs. Honestly, not a bad jersey. Riley for the Leafs on the canvas. Kivarenta for the Stars on the Young Guns. Dubois for the Blue Jackets on the Portraits. Base pack rate, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Base pack. Should be a hit right out here. Nope, another base pack. God, this is one thing that bugs me about Series 1 retail. Delandria for the Stars on the Young Guns. It's just the amount of base packs. Especially because they used to be like in a consistent spot. Kane for Chicago. But they're just like consistent. Raquel for the Ducks on the Dazzlers. Oh yeah, that goal was insane. Like that was one of the ones that I was playing games with friends. O'Reilly for the Blues. And um, we, were all, we all had the game up. And it's like, oh crap, except different words. Francis for the abs. <laughs> it was uh definitely insane. So we only got no, we got two canvas, we got two portraits, we got a jersey and a dazzlers and three young guns, so we got everything that we should have got. That was one of those games that just like you gotta win that. And just a reminder, I know it says base cards don't ship in it, but um, the stature base cards will ship. They are premium. I don't, like, by base cards not shipping, it means, like, the um, the Series 1. Like, anything that's, like, a Series 1, Series 2 style base, uh, MVP, OPG, stuff like that, where it's, like, the very thin multiple base per pack. Um, he'll be staying in Vancouver um, which there's nothing wrong with that there's I think that's the right move I mean if he stayed I'd, it'd have to be for a pretty reasonable cap it and I just don't think it lines up very well for them base pack to start us off base pack again six seven Francis for the abs on the Young Gun Canvas. Yo Levy for the Canucks on the Young Guns. Sure for the Sharks on the Portraits. Base Pack. Yep, back to back Base Packs. Not missing anything. 
Oh, not missing anything. Uh, checklist for the Rangers, Kratsov and Black. Bailey for the Islanders. There we go. We got our two canvases. I think we have one young gun and one portrait left. Base pack. Flurry for Vegas. And yep, we got one young gun left, and it is Belzeal for the Habs. So, very standard box of Series 1 retail. So. I think Miller, I mean, apparently the trade offer from the Rangers was like Heedle, Lundquist, and a first. Um, I'd probably take that. <laughs> if I'm being honest, because I just, like at the trade deadline, if that offer comes around again, yeah. But like, it, it can vary wildly, right? Like, it depends on how much a team really values him. I think, you know, if... A smart play would be to try to flip them for like Kevin Fiala. I think that'd be a really like solid trade for the Canucks. But I think you're trying to find either someone to directly replace them, essentially get get the Miller that when the Canucks traded for Miller, do that ex essentially trade him for the version of himself that we traded for a few years ago, right? Like that that's if you're if you're Alvin and Rutherford, that's what you what you've gotta be saying. Um is that we're looking to get the same version of Miller that or like the version of Miller that, you know, the old team got, just you know, making it more line up with the ages and stuff and salaries. So um, I think that is where it's gonna end up lining up with too. I'd imagine that seeing how the playoffs are going too with how like just how deep you have to be um, you know I'd imagine some of those teams got the I think Miss Carlson is interesting um, I he did really well in the SHL which is normally good except he's like you know he's older um, He's 20, 24. So I think, you know, similar to Anton Rodin, where like, hey, he might come over, he might be okay, or he might come over and not look great. I don't think Rodin was given the best chance when he came over, especially dealing with his injuries and stuff and being kind of forced in the lineup and then stuff like that. Um, I don't think he was given the best of shots, so I hope they do a little bit better, but... I, I think he'll fight for a spot. I mean, anyone coming over from any players fighting for a spot, it's just what that spot will be and what the direction of the team's going to be, right? Like, for all we know, last year could have been the best year of his career in hockey. No, you just never, I mean, you can kind of tell when the player's quote unquote best year is going to be, but. Um, it depends on how well he transitions. I'd be... I wouldn't be shocked if he made the team, but I'd be... I wouldn't be surprised if he ends up in the AHL. Uh, let him for the Leafs. On the Young Guns, just because I think it's a decent landing spot. Ovechkin for the Capitals on the 5 6 Stamkos for the Lightning. So... Miller for the Rangers on the rookie class. Ty Smith for the Devils on the ultimate victory. French variation of Sagan for the Stars. Nugent Hopkins for the Oilers. It's good to see Nugent doing well. Yep. I think Carlson, like, he'll fight for a spot for sure. Um, I just don't know where in the lineup he'll line up type of thing. Godin for the Flames. There you go, Flames hidden. Ooh, Matthews to... Oh, you just missed the jersey number. 33 of 100 on the SP Reflections. I mean, you know what? It's a Matthews short print. Let's uh, highlight it. So, 
would have been nice to get 34 out of 100. That would have been probably like a two times, three times the increase in the value of that card. But it's a cool card worth highlighting. Um, again, probably not the biggest value, but still solid. So, hand a mark for the Sharks on the Young Guns. Mitchell for Chicago on the Holographics. And McDavid on the Ultimate Victory for the Oilers. Hottest takes for the Canucks next year. I think that the hottest take is that they'll, roster-wise, a lot of people will think that they'll take a step back, but they'll probably end up around the same spot. That would be my hottest take, is that they're going to essentially, they're going to do a proper retool because this is a team that has some pieces that can win, but the players are just not lined up in the right ages and salaries and stuff like that, that it'll be, it'll be a bit of a step back. I think, um, I think Hoaglander, I was calling a Hoaglander breakout year this year. I think like next year could be that year. It depends on Boudreaux as well, so. Sorry, these are just stuck together. There we go. I think that's actually our base pack too. That'd be my hottest take. My other hottest take is that I think um, there's maybe like three defensemen on that are actually on the lineup, like in the lineup this year. Like half of their defense will turn over. I think this team's going to look very different next year. Which is fine. Like, oh. Anytime you can... I think that... Like, yeah. I think there'll be a team that, like, is on that border of pushing for a playoff spot, but probably falls short. Um, but it just depends, man. Like, if you get full-on Pedersen, depending on how that Miller trade goes... If they're able to offload like a couple bad contracts on the back end and replace them with, you know, equivalent players, like you know, if you can, oh, these are yeah, these are uh, these are welded together. You know, if you can get leaner in cap hits, and there's a legitimate chance that, and you know, I think that they can while not reducing the quality of their roster that much. Uh, Sorokin for the Islanders. Nice one there on the retro. Uh, but if they can do that, that would be the biggest goal. And I think they'll shock people. Like, I think Rathbone's ready to step up. Um, that'll be big for the club. Reese Johnson for Chicago. I'd like to see, you know, one, two, three. That was our, well, that wasn't our base pack because there's Sorokin on the reflections for the Islanders. But yeah, I I think they're going to surprise a little bit depending on like how the offseason goes. Kopitar for the Kings. Like, I imagine that they're going to have a pretty disruptive offseason. Romanov for the Habs on the gold holographics. And like, they're going to have turnover, but it's going to be good turnover. Um, I think that was just the base pack. Three, four, not a variation, not a variation. None of these are variations. Yeah, that is just the base pack. Again, typically we have one in, oh. Ah, always fools me, man. Always gets me. Sorokin for the Islanders on the SPX Finite. Um, is there any significance? No, it's two two eight eight of two nine nine nine. Yeah, these are sticky. Six. So it should be right here. Nolan Foot for the Devils. Sorry, I'm just gonna focus on getting through this box because all the cards are sticking before I talk again. Um, I gotta keep my concentration here. Okay, this is just all base. Malkin for the Penguins. Is 
got Jones for Columbus. I hope we have a checklist coming up. Between Florida and LA. Uh, extended series checklist. Of Epo Miami and Kalia, that'll be a random. I'm just gonna go back through the base ones we're done just to make sure I didn't miss anything. But um, I think we just have a clear cut Yen Gen left, and it is the one that always fools me. So, which you know isn't great, but hey, uh, Austin Tran on the clear cut Young Gun. So I mean, case hit, not bad. Just would like to have uh, the good king. So, all right, let's go back through the base quickly just to make sure I didn't miss anything. I don't think so, but I'm gonna go through backwards once in here just because the cards will stand out pretty good. We got the French variation already too. Oh, nice. Congrats on those. Those are pretty solid. Uh, there's no one in here that can be a variation. Uh, he could be, but that is not. And then I don't think there is. I think we hit it. It just everything was sticking together. I just want to make sure. We hit our French, we hit our one base pack, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah. Yep, uh, team viewer, there we go. Good time, because we are shuffling the boxes around. Uh, Mark, did you get the, uh, you got the decoy box? Just making sure, I forgot to check the tracking number, but. Let's slide these down. And yeah, something like this. Uh, night zero. Thank you. Of course, I forgot to cut the front. Time for a nightcap. <laughs> I mean, hey, hopefully. The Stature's kind of the first product in a while where there's a lot of, like, decent vet content, like, or, like, legend content. So I'm actually looking forward to that part of it. Like, I know that there's some in Ultimate and some in Premier, but it's just. I just want to see how stuck together these are. Yeah, these are pretty stuck together, so we're gonna go one pack at a time. Uh, Suitor for Chicago on the Young Guns. Three, four, six, seven, eight. McLeod for the Oilers on the Portraits. Zamula for the Flyers. There we go. I hate when the cards get stuck together. It's one of the more tedious things. Prisky for the Panthers on the blank, or not the blank back, the retro. Wish it was a blank back. McNiven for the Habs. Fowler for the Ducks. I forgot I had a Fowler high gloss young gun kicking around.
POC for the Predators. We haven't pulled it. We need to pull a day with the cup soon. Open up way too much series one, series two without hitting a day with the cup. Portrait of Yaletti for the Canucks. So like, I'm fine with the OPG stuff in series two. In fact, I would argue I miss the victory stuff in series two as well. But when it was multiple hits per pack, um, that's when I really liked it. Cousins for the Sabres. Every single time, man, we throw a random box of series two in a break, we hit a Cousins. Open up an entire case, we hit one. Just like never fails. But I, so why I like OPG stuff in series two and like the update portraits and the update, like if they had MVP updates, is look at what McDavid portraits and stuff are going for. Ooh, is that short print? Is that a short print? I don't remember if he's a short print. Sorry, I just gotta look this up. Uh, it's definitely not like. Series two checklist. But, um, yeah, anyways, uh, I was getting back to while I looked this up, just because I want to know. I think it's a short print, but I'm not sure. No, it's not a short print. Okay, we just haven't pulled them in a while. Laugh in the rookie materials. So, just haven't pulled it in a while, but nice, uh, nice pull there. Um, back to the extra rookie cards in series one and series two is it i mean it does it just gives you extra rookie cards and that is i know it sounds silly but like it's better than a lot of the kind of standard inserts that you'd find because if a rookie pops off that card's gonna go up in value more than an insert of a vet so that's where i really like um the additional rookies Cole Smith for the Predators. I, I get why it can be like repetitive, but again, I throw that with the caveat of I miss when it was like 2011, 12, 2010, 11 series two. I think even up to like 13, 14, where it was like you could get MVP rookies, an uh, OBG rookie, and then like another hit in a pack. I really, that was one of my favorite times for cards. Shifley for the Jets on the canvas. Um, just because the box just felt so much, like it had so much more value in it. And like it, it did because you had less base cards and more hits, but like, yeah, I don't know. I miss that. So, to bring Cat for Chicago. I think also that um, we didn't get. We didn't get Caprizo. Like, it allows them to actually have the rookies of that year in OPG and stuff. Like, it allows them to have an early year set, like OPG, like MVP. And then have the like rookies that debut later come in so they actually get those rookie cards, right? Um, I mean, showing for the Sharks. Like if we had, you know, Caprizov OPG rookies in here, they'd probably be like three, four bucks a pop. And, you know, they're fairly common. Um, and just adds value to it, right? So, oh yeah, like they, they definitely like feel cheaper. I, I understand that. Skinner for the Oilers. French variation of Greenway for the wild. But like the, that's just OPG's printing, right? Cause that's cause it's going off of what it's printed on. And it's kind of like a legacy of being that like typical cardboard stock. So there are pros and cons to it. I think like the pros of having them is better than the cons. Uh, McMichael for the capitals, like especially opening up series two retail um in a good rookie crop is really good so just because it's like it's brings down like it's less risky because you're more likely to get better cards per box there we go so they could do one for the flings but like yeah no i do get what you mean by that because again they are they are on the cheaper cardboard format however i will say they don't stick together as much so Francis for the Avs. 
Uh, we have hit printing plates, actually. Um, personally, in boxes, yes. I've hit some. Um, like, in just, like, random boxes, I've hit some. Crats off for the Rangers. Um, in breaks, we've hit... We hit a, we've hit more... Um, we've hit more printing plates in this year's 21-22 uh, Series 1. Then we have exclusives or young and exclusives. So Bill Zeal for the Habs. We hit a canvas printing plate of Hyman and then a young gun canvas printing plate of Tice Thompson. And we've only hit one young gun exclusives who is Kaylin Addison. If I remember correctly. Cash out for the Flyers. I love printing plates. I think to me they're kind of like an undervalued card, but. I think we have a black border OPG rookie, and it's McNiven for the Habs. Number 35 of 100, so. And Easter egg insert, number 100. Could have been a better rookie. It is what it is. Two to go. Okay. I love printing plates. I love, like, especially when we were opening up, what well, was Credentials 2 summers ago? Yeah, we haven't had that product in a while. Burke for the Yotes. Um, and there's like the metal cards, the steel wheels. Those things were my favorite because it was hot in the summer. And they were just cool to touch. So it would just be very refreshing. I know it sounds stupid, but... Gensel for the Penguins. And uh, Joe Neuendijk for the Flames on the retired canvas. The Flames hit in the retired canvas. Again, not a major card, but case, like, semi-case hit. It's about one and a half per case, so we'll highlight that later on. All right. Let's do the goo. Where am I going to put this? Right here. Let's do the spigoo, because... SPX, I think, has higher hit potential than SP Game Used, and Metal Universe is kind of like boomer bust. So, come on, go. Right. Series 2 is, uh, I think it'll end up being a solid one. Um, last year's, like, long term, so. I really like the rookie crop. I wasn't as big on Kaprizov at first, but like he's just keeps getting better. So, like I knew he was good, I just didn't know how good he'd be. So, we got a patch. Yeah, I'd love to see it. Well, we'll end on the patch, I think. Oh yeah, yeah, we'll end on the patch. Um, who's got him? Who's got him? Who has this team? Why can't I find them? Noah. I think Noah's your first break with us. Uh, I think it, it might be. I think it is. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's for, it's for Noah. Pashnak for the Bruins on the banner year. Lucas Carlson for Chicago on the rookie jersey. Kuchero for the Lightning. That's not bad on the uh, material distinctions. Philip Forsberg for the Predators to 165 on the base. Brady Kachuk to uh, 265 on the base. And numbered 4 of 5, Patrick Waugh Legendary Ink Sweaters Patch. Patrick Waugh Patch Auto 2-5. That's going to be up there for hit of the break. That is a nice card, especially from SP Game Used. Very hard to get, like, legend stuff from it. So, nice card there. And you get the nice little, uh, you can definitely tell you're getting, like, one of the swoops up by the A. So, it's a... Not like many colors to the patch, but it's a cool patch. And those are sometimes my favorite. Uh, put this 
serial numbers because SPX did have the weirdo. Uh, sometimes boxes will only have three hits in it thing. So. All right, if I see a patch, I'll try and save it. Right, this is a shadow box. Well, that's a good shadow box. How about a laugh shadow box for the Rangers? Nice one there. I mean, hey, sure, I'll take a laugh. Um, 130 points. I need to get 130 points. Forgot SPX is the weird, uh, the weird size. So, honestly, it's been a pretty solid break. Lots of, uh, each box has kind of had something nice in it. Oh, I guess series one was kind of, yeah, but extended was solid, so. Uh, Matthews on the jersey for the Leafs. So again, if you're gonna hit a jersey, like make it Matthews. Nice Matthews for the Leafs. Good, uh, good player selection here, good quality. We have a rookie jersey auto here. Yep, uh, nine draw for the Sharks at so three seventy five. Again, not the um, not the flashiest player, but given some of the rookies in the checklist, he's probably in that like, you know, C tier. He could do worse. Could do better, but could do worse. And. Last pack here. This is a wild card. Legitimate wild card because I don't know what it is. Could this be a base card? It is probably just a base card. Ah, uh, it's a two ninety nine Svetch for the Hurricanes. So, eh. I mean, like, hey, Matthews jersey, laugh shadow box. Not the worst. This feels kind of weird than normal. Not the worst. But yeah. SPX, like SP game use, is very go big or go home. So, a lot of these products are. Uh, let's see, let's see what number it is. There we go. Base, 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 Intimidation Nation of Still Lock for the Wild and Slavin for the Hurricanes on the All Stars. I don't think Still Lock's really Im er, intimidating a ton of people here. Base, 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 here's our autograph. Martin Kelp for the Avs, uh, Latang for the Penguins, and Stanley for the Jets. Not who you want to see on the auto, but hey. Not really why you open up the skybox. You open it for that card. Don't let me forget about that. But we do have a PMG and it is a modern PMG. Under for the stars, that'd be a nice one to get. And geeky for the hurricanes. Nice little under PMG red, that'd be, that'd be solid. Retro of Doughty for the Kings, Lankton for Chicago, and Kane for Chicago. Maybe we'll get one of those like platinum profile cards. Those are always cool. Uh, McDavid on the net deposits and Perron for the Blues. It is a McDavid insert. It gets a sleeve and top load treatment, but not a recapable card. Just a cool card. Next up, annoyance for the Panthers of Barkov and Huberto. Um, this goes there, this goes uh, probably there. And Delandria for the Stars. Ooh, nice. Uh, Allen of Crosby for the Penguins with the Mikey Anderson for the Kings and Drysdale for the Oilers. Find it. I mean, hey, again, if you're gonna hit a clear cut card, I will say the bottom is pretty, like it's not cut super clean. There's like some scuff marks down there. You can't really see them, but 
there you go, now you can see them. But like, hey, if you're gonna hit that subset, you'd want Crosby or McDavid as your two players. I guess Obi. Obi would work as well. Korshkov for the Leafs, McKinnon for the Avs, Benson for the Oilers. Alloyans of Svech and Aho for the Hurricanes, Robertson for the Leafs, Kopitar for the Kings. Velarde for the Kings on the Retro and Pashnek for the Bruins. Flurry for Vegas on the Intim Intimidation Nation. Holtby for Washington and Vancheck for Washington. Uh, PMG retro or not PMG retro, just the retro of uh, Panarin for the Ranger, Bennington for er, Bennington for the Blues and Alexia for the Capitals. I can't speak. Nick Robertson on the net deposits for the Leafs and Barabano for the Leafs. A little bit of a soft corner. Last pack before the PMG. And we have ourselves a true for the Sharks, Bodan for Chicago, and Kane for Chicago. PMG time. Uh, Quinn Hughes for the Canucks. Not bad. 74 of 100 and Colzar for Vegas. Not bad. Could definitely hit worse than a Quinn Hughes to 100. 74 of 100. Nice little Quinn Hughes PMG. We'll, uh, we'll give that a stand. That deserves a stand. All right. Uh, stature time. Again, stature is probably the more consistent of the products of the final three, but like in terms of just you're gonna get eight cards. Um, but yeah, if you liked Satcher last year, you'll like it this year. So here we go. Box triple zero, by the way. I don't think we got that. There we go. I forgot how much of it. Oh, it's a brick because it's got the patch. Well, triple zero was the right one to go with, so. All right, we'll just slide one off the back here. Because we know it's a patch on the bottom, so here we go. Uh, Century Momentus of Brett Hall for the Blues. These are beautiful cards. Gallagher for the hats on the base. Again, the base ships from this. It's not numbered, but it is just beautiful. Marchand for the Bruins. Camera doesn't like it because it's too bright. There we go. Malt set for the Devils to $3.99. Wouldn't be a bad one to hold on to. Mikey Anderson for the Kings to $1.75 on the green. Yeah, these cards are just, they're beautiful. They really are. Uh, Brome on the Protégés for the Red Wings to 149. 30 of 149. Di Pietro for the Canucks to 45 on the blue. These are, yeah, these are really, really nice looking. And, well, we hit his nice patch auto last year. Uh, why not start off with a Gibson patch auto to 33 for the Ducks? Uh, well, I guess it was a couple of years ago that we opened it up, but we hit the uh, one of one with the nice little like mighty duck head in it. That's a really nice card. Honestly, like, I mean, if you're looking for cards that just look beautiful, stature is these these are nice, like very very sharp cards. Uh, I love the look of them. I believe everything should be seventy five point as well. So it is like. The camera doesn't do it justice. They're very, very nice cards. So, so really, like, fairly nice cards. All right, ultimate box number. Here we go. 
307. It's 9573987432530. Oh, we do have the random. I think I tucked it away. Hang on. Almost forgot about that. Uh, stature is 215. So here, let me grab. Oh, I think there might be some available on the site still. But I'm not sure. Let's see. Sports cards. sold out already but there is a wait list if you do want to join that just in case but um yeah really like really nice product so i was actually shocked at the price so all right well i think we're clearly taking oh this is Ugh. Um, yeah, it's not a good box. Captain for the Penguins to 149 on the base. Uh, Barabanov for the Leafs to 299 on the Ultimate Rookie Auto. NHL Legacy of Brady Kachuk for the Senators. And, oh boy, Bromey for the Red Wings. Um, on the Rookie Jersey. Yeah, let's, uh, let's move on. Premier. That was the worst box of ultimate I've seen. Uh, let's move on from that box because that was that was rough. I'm just like, okay, four cards, like thin cards. Maybe there's something good coming, but no, no. All right, Premier, save us. Did I get the number there? Nine five five eight one three zero six five six eight eight one seven. Well, the good news is that that was it can't it can't be worse than that box. Like it literally, I don't think it's possible for it to be worse than that box. So I'm just gonna fan through and see if I can see what we're gonna end on here. Uh, we'll end there. Really. Huh, this is a solid box. Barzell for the Islanders to 299. Woohoo! And we'll go to the rookie gold next. Uh Hepo Niemi for the Panthers to 65. That's two. Let's go, let's go to the rookie patch auto next. Reduke for Vegas to 249. Uh let's go to the back. Ottinger on the Paramount jersey for the stars. Again, go to the back. Kaprizov on the Paramount jersey for the Wild. Nice Kaprizov there. I mean, nice Ottinger too. This makes up for makes up a little bit at least for it. Um, this is a team that was fairly quiet too, weren't they? I think they were fairly quiet. But uh, yeah, for the Ottawa Senators. Josh Norris on the rookie premier autograph quad patch auto to 15. That is a nice card. Again, you'd rather that be Stutzla, but like 14 to 15, Josh Norris, nothing wrong with that. That's a pretty good end of the break. We got one random to do here. Um, and then, yeah, up next will be uh, the stature inner, but here we go. So random for the checklist. We'll do that three times. Just gotta get that set up here. Board is on the left. All right, here we go. Three times. Team on top gets it once, twice, third time. La, La gets that. So yeah, that break was all over the place. Um, really, uh. No other way to describe it, but we'll do a recap because like some really cool cards in it. Um, some teams that, you know, you wouldn't expect to hit well hit 
decent. So a uh, quick little recap here. Save you. We'll just go through the pile because there's no like specific order. But uh, Paramount Jersey of Kaprizov for the Wild. Uh, Di Pietro for the Canucks to 45 on the blue rookie from Satcher. Kaut was our auto from uh, Mel Universe. Nijev, Nijov for the Sharks to 375 was our rookie jersey auto from SPX. Uh, also from SPX was the Matthews jersey and Laugh Shadow Box. Uh, we had a new Dyke retired canvas for the Flames. McNiven on the 100 or 2 100 on the OPG black border. Um, Laugh on the rookie materials. Cousins was our big young gun from Series 2. Strand for the Kings is a clear cut young gun. Stroking for the Islanders on the retro young gun. Matthews to 100. Um, on the reflections. Uh, two other cool hits for the McDavid for the Oilers and the Allen of Crosby. And then top hits. Um, we'll put this and this in third no we'll do we'll do the gibson in third or fourth sorry uh patch auto from stature so these are essentially like case hits like patch autos are really tough to hit uh to 33 so a nice little patch auto there of gibson for the ducks uh norris on the uh premier rookie quad patch auto to 15. uh second best hit i think is gonna go to the quinn hughes pmg to 100 for the canucks and hit of the break i mean Patrick Waugh to five. So nice uh, nice break overall here. Uh, some good stuff. Some That ultimate box was weak. But overall, pretty solid. Um, up next is the inner of stature. 